This is an incredible look at Alexandra Diodario as the X-Men's Rogue. Hey there, YouTube family! Welcome back to our channel where we bring you the most recent news and updates from the world of movies and entertainment. We have some exciting news for all X-Men fans out there today. Rogue, everyone's favourite mutant, is rumoured to be getting her own standalone film. If that isn't enough to get you excited, fans are rooting for Alexandra Diodario to take on the role. So without further ado, let's get into the specifics and see what this means for the X-Men franchise. Alexandra Diodario is instantly recognisable to viewers who have only a passing familiarity with her work thanks to her piercing blue eyes and her talent as a performer. To name a few of her many acting roles, she's played a formerly entombed vampire in American horror story Hotel, a descendant of an Olympian god in the Percy Jackson films, and a court reporter involved in some shenanigans in the dark HBO drama True Detective. But what if, in theory, she got to play one of Marvel's X-Men franchise's more notable heroes? The exceptionally powerful character of Rogue previously graced the silver screen when Anna Paquin lent her talents to the role, beginning with the first live-action X-Men film in the year 2000 and continuing into a few of its sequels. One of Rogue's defining characteristics is that her superpowers allow her to immediately siphon the strength and abilities of anyone she physically touches, and even the slightest contact is enough to weaken some of the strongest heroes. Normal people, on the other hand, end up injured from death after the slightest touch. One concept artist online once provided an absolutely fantastic look at how the actress might look while portraying the X-Men character, which may well be a treat for fans of Diodario and Rogue alike. Stuart Cooper, a concept artist, posted an image of Diodario as a version of Rogue, resembling her appearance in the X-Men comics of the 1990s on Instagram. This image is a stunning representation of what could be, combining the actor's powerful gaze with the iconic suit and jacket look of Rogue. The artist went on to say that Rogue is one of his favourite X-Men members and that Diodario would be an excellent choice for the popular X-Men member. Cooper even went so far as to say that his image of Diodario as Rogue has a lot of white hair, which in the comics was caused by Rogue sucking energy from Miss Marvel. In the previous X-Men films, her hair was white due to an encounter with Magneto. In any case, Diodario looks the part. Given that Disney now owns the X-Men intellectual property following its acquisition of Fox, it may only be a matter of time before the diverse group of mutants joins the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The X-Men films of the early 2000s were instrumental in what is now an outright boom of superhero movies, and it's been claimed that the MCU would not exist if those films had not been made. Who will play Rogue in future X-Men films is unknown, but if this concept art is any indication, Alexandra Diodario should be donning the costume and a southern accent. Fans want Diodario to portray Rogue too. A number of followers agreed with Stuart Cooper's suggestion that the true detective actor would be a welcome addition to the X-Men franchise in the comments section below his Instagram post of Alexandra Diodario as Rogue. Awesome logic and design style, dude! User Badboy underscore customs responded. I really hope to see Diodario cast as Rogue. I can't see anyone else for the role. This is awesome, wrote user Tony's underscore spooky museum. Great choice and great art. This isn't the first time an artist has imagined what Diodario could look like as the X-Men's Rogue. A year after Cooper's Instagram post, an artist with the username YesThatMJ posted to the Marvel Studios subreddit depicting Diodario as a more cartoonish version of Rogue, dressed in a colourful costume as she was in the animated X-Men TV series. Users in the comment section below that post reacted similarly favourably to the prospect of Diodario joining the X-Men universe. For example, Arch-Tempered Koala's most upvoted comment in the threads reads, I'd be fine with her as anything in the MCU. Meanwhile, user Lowfreak33 commented, That's actually a pretty good choice. Since acquiring the rights to adapt to X-Men, Disney has yet to reveal any concrete plans for the franchise. So until they say otherwise, it appears that Diodario is the front runner for the role of Rogue in the event that the X-Men make a comeback on the big screen. Fan casting is, of course, common in the world of superhero films, and it remains to be seen who will eventually land the coveted role. Nonetheless, Alexandra Diodario's overwhelming support has captured the attention of both fans and industry insiders. There are also other actors who should play Rogue in the MCU, according to Reddit. Let's have a look at those fan casts. First on the long list of fan casting is Brian Howie. A Reddit user named 2020Bun suggests Brian Howie for an aged-up version of Rogue, similar to the X-Men animated series. This actress has a flirty bombshell look, can do a southern accent and play slightly unhinged, they write. 
This Redditor's vision of the MCU's rogue appears to focus heavily on the character's villainous origins prior to being recruited to join the X-Men, something that has yet to be explored with her character in live action. Howie, best known for her roles in the television series Ginny and Georgia, and the sci-fi adventure film Time Trap, is capable of portraying such a complex character. Next in line is you actress Victoria Pedretti. When asked to offer their own fan casting for the mutant character, Redditor River Westin writes, I think Victoria Pedretti would make a great rogue. Pedretti is best known for her role as Love Quinn in Netflix's original series You. Pedretti's career has been built on portraying morally ambiguous characters, which could perfectly highlight Rogue's villainous past as well as the curse of her power set. Pedretti is clearly prepared for a major role in a blockbuster franchise, and he could be an excellent addition to the MCU's X-Men. Up next is Lauren Cohen from the beloved show The Walking Dead. Vegan Arnie Hammer, a Reddit user, keeps it simple with their suggestion of rogue actresses, simply writing Lauren Cohen's name in the comment. Now Lore, another user, commented that they can actually see her pulling off rogue pretty well. Cohen is currently starring in The Walking Dead's final season as Maggie Ree, where her southern accent and morally ambiguous journey perfectly showcased the talent she would bring to the role of Rogue in the MCU. She is no stranger to the superhero genre, having appeared briefly as Martha Wayne in Batman vs Superman, and voicing the ill-fated War Woman in the animated series Invincible. Lily Collins from Emily in Paris is another favourite of Reddit users. Redditor Galactus is a thick boy suggests Lily Collins for the role of Rogue, writing that she's great with accents, citing her work in Tolkien as evidence before going on to praise her. She's a good actress, charismatic, young, and isn't attached to any role. She hasn't played another superhero. Collins's work as the incredibly fashionable Emily Cooper in Emily in Paris, a series in which the actress has gained a lot of notoriety in recent years, will be recognized by many fans. While she has gained popularity recently, Collins is a fresh enough face to the Hollywood scene to completely blend in with her new role should she be cast in the MCU. But still, most users agreed that Alexandra Diodario is probably the closest you could get to the 90s cartoon Rogue. While we wait for confirmation and more information on the Rogue standalone film, it's important to remember that this is all speculation at this point. Casting decisions are complicated processes, and the final choice is frequently influenced by a variety of factors. Well, that's it for now. Make sure that you like our video. Please share your views and opinions with us in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies from us, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video, we'll see you at the next one.